Hey everyone, I hope you're taking it easy and your day has been great thus far. For this video we'll be going through an unboxing of set 71454, the Mateo and Z-Blob the Robot Lego set. This particular set is out of the Lego Dreams subline and I feel it would have been a late 2023 release, or at least sometime 2023. Um, and I've just recently picked this up in the last few weeks because friends are awesome. Um, it's been a while since I've done some of this uh, unboxing content, especially from the LEGO side, for reasons previously mentioned in some previous videos. Uh, but hopefully I will get back into the swing of things with some degree of regularity. Anyway, uh, popping into the Dreams line. Now, I'm only doing a few unboxings of some of these sets. I'm not planning to acquire all of the Dreams line. Um, just because they're okay, but for me, not all of them are tickling my fancy. And to be honest, the ones that are, are either very mecha themed or potentially um, more of vehicular themed. Anyway, front of the box for the Mateo and Z-Blob the robot. I'm assuming Mateo is this individual here who's hidden behind the security tag. And this is Z-Blob. Or Z-Blob. Who knows? Z sounds better. And I can only imagine this is probably some type of protagonist. So front of the box, very much a more mecha theme set. Back of the box, so even though there is a primary build, there are two variations you can go down. Now I'm hoping they're not too difficult to switch out between the two. It doesn't look like they will be, um, but I'm also hoping that I don't have to acquire a second set. At this point in time, I'm quite liking the look of this mode as opposed to that one. It's not too bad, but. Uh, if you've seen any of my previous like Creator 3 in 1 videos, I don't do very well when having to make choices. Anyway, worry about that later on when we get to the build. So that's having a quick look of the outside of the box. Time to open the box. I did notice the thumb tabs, which is unfortunate. And then we can have a look at the manual ever so quickly and the number of included bags. And with everything out of the box, front of the manual, we do have a included sticker sheet and three bags as well, which is pretty good for this particular set and its price point. Standard product feedback on the back. Now, surprisingly, this manual has actually uh, got some decent heft to it. So, bag number one. Looks like we'll have some illustrations throughout, which is very nice. It does remind me of some of the Ninjago sets that we had a look at last year. Otherwise, pretty much just going straight through the build. These little images uh, basically start to hint at the various things that we'll be building throughout. So I will admit, kind of cool. It's like uh, telling a nice little story. Now, I've actually lost track of where we are bag ones. I'm assuming we're still in bag one, actually. Uh, stickers which I mentioned earlier. So moving into bag number two. So so far nothing looks overly difficult. Actually, even though it's a mecha design, it's nice that it's not using some of those silly little, what are they, fixed little U-bends that uh, some of the Ninjago mecha sets are now pretty much having as a staple. So, up to 63 is pretty much a stock standard process, and then thereafter, whether you go to page 52 or 68, we'll basically go through the variations of the belt. It looks like one will be a backpack, the other will be some weapons and some side weapons. So, number three pretty much goes through one of the modes. It's pretty much the one that I was pretty much considering doing. Potentially I might pick up another one just to do the other one, just for the sake of completionism. Um, but yeah, it's actually not too bad. So that was 23 odd steps to do all of that. Um, the 
So cool. We have a nice little image again. And then the other option for bag number three is to go through this other alternative build. Basically changes the head and basically creates a alternative backpack. Which seems to be a bit of a propulsion jetpack of some sort. And then we have the typical little stud launchers being mounted somewhere. Reminds me of Ben 10. Mainly the colours. Um, yeah, it's definitely not too bad, but um, I don't know. I, I feel I might be able to give it a miss. Now, here are some of the other dream sets that are included. Uh, I can confirm there are two others that I will be doing in terms of unboxings in the future. And I'm debating if I pick up this interesting crocodile one. Um, I have been told some interesting thoughts about it, uh, which is probably why I'm thinking of grabbing it. But whether I actually grab it for the crocodile or something else remains to be seen. Dreams, it's also an online series. Breakfast. So, manual is pretty stock standard in the manual. In terms of everything else, quick look at the sticker sheet. So, it's definitely not too bad. Uh, some various stickers here and there. Uh, at least up to number five is pretty much part of the build. The others just look like random decorations to use at your leisure. Bag number one it doesn't look like it has too much in it, but there is a small bag inside. Definitely not too bad, and definitely components for at least two minifix. Bag number two, we know pretty much will do a good bulk of the robot. Predominantly whites and some of that nice little fluoro green. Bits of black as well, little bits of grey, and the odd brown piece. And then lastly, bag number three, as we now know, it's basically a uh, choose your own path type of bag. You can either go the more weapons orientated route or more of the jetpacky route. And there will be a small bag in there as well. For that. Bag number three. So that pretty much brings us to the end of the unboxing of set 71454 Matteo and Z Blob the robot out of the Lego Dreams subline. It does look very cool. Um, I think now that I've gone through the actual booklet, I do feel a bit more comfortable that I do know which option I will build for bag number three. And at this point in time, I do feel okay not picking up a second version of this set. Uh, to build the other on. In saying that, if I ever see it on special where it's like half the price, I will strongly consider it then. Although even at its current price point, uh, it, it's definitely not too bad. It's pretty good for its uh, value, at least from what I can see. Thank you much. Thank there. Try that again. Thank you for watching this unboxing video. Feel free to leave a like, a comment. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed the content helps the channel and I do appreciate uh, everyone who's stuck around so far uh, the channel has been under a very interesting hiatus for the last few months uh, which I'm hoping to obviously uh, pass through now uh, I will have extra content on my Instagram account which will typically be work in progress shots uh, link to that is in the description it's also the same name as the YouTube channel as well. That being said, stay safe, take care, and I will catch you all in a future video, which I'm hoping is definitely sooner rather than later. See ya.